In this video, I'm going to talk about picking across strings. So let's talk about string crossing. Now, instead of going right for the jugular straight away and trying to do a big lick like that, the best thing with string crossing is really breaking this down to idiot-proof steps. And so you've seen so far how we've focused on each hand separately with the tremolo picking, getting the pick moving faster, and then getting the hammers and pulls, and then applying it to one string. Uh, what we need to do now is just add a string cross to that, but we're only going to do one, okay? Only add one string cross. So if you're doing a lick like this, I'm starting this on a downstroke, so I'm going down, up, down, and then I need to hit up, right, for the string cross. Regardless of how you play this, if, if you want to start on an upstroke or if you want to economy pick this, whatever, however you play, you need to just break this down to the most basic steps that you can, so that all you need to do is take the step that is immediately in front of you. So for us right now, the step that immediately is in front of us is we need to get to the G string. I'm on the D. I need to get here to the G string. So this is the note that I'm after. So if I can do this, I should be able to do this without the hand sync falling apart. If your hand sync does fall apart, remember, go back to step two, work on the hammers and pulls, then work on the step after that, and then bring yourself back to this level again. But you should, at this point, if you start thinking about string crossing to this level, you should be able to at least do this. So to be a moderate to moderately quick tempo without it falling apart. So then we can add the What happens a lot of the time is that somebody will start off a lick with good intentions and then when they get to the string cross the uh, pick strokes will sort of mess themselves up and they'll have a haphazard randomized approach to picking. You don't really want a randomized approach to picking where it kind of just makes itself up as it goes along because you're not really going to have anything reliable to fall back on. You know if you happen to use a combo of economy picking and alternate picking that's fine. You know, it's something that you can do out of choice, or if it's something that develops naturally, that's great. But what I find a lot of the time is that people actually don't even have that. It's just random. I mean, it's, it's in the lap of the gods. It changes from one moment to the next. And that's something we want to avoid. We at least want a decent foundation of alternate picking, really. You, you, even if you don't go to super shred speeds, it doesn't matter. You might just want an extra 10 or 20 beats per minute at least you should be able to do that. Okay, and that just gets you used to the string cross and you're getting the right pick stroke as well. You don't want it to be random. You want to know exactly what pick stroke should be coming next and you want to know that you're hitting it. So if you can get to that stage, that's good because you've started on your journey of string crossing and you're knowing what stroke is coming next. So that's good. You want to be able to control that and then you can take it from there and build and build so your string crossing becomes more reliable. That's it for this episode. I will see you next week for the next one. So be there.